Hello, IT comrades. Welcome back to another one. My name is Masha and I am a DevOps freelancer engineer. In this video, I am going to show you what DevOps engineers actually do in their day-to-day -day life. You know, the ones that wake up at 6 a.m., meditate, drink coffee, code for a few hours, have a stand-up meeting, code some more, deploy to production, have a happy hour with their team, and then go to bed. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, not exactly. There's a lot more DevOps engineers do other than just coding. And I'm going to reveal the truth behind the scenes of this exciting and challenging career. Okay, now don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that those videos are completely fake or misleading. I'm sure some DevOps engineers do have days like that and they enjoy their work. But they are not showing you the whole picture. The problems, the failures, the frustration, the stress and the pressure that come with being a DevOps engineer. They are not showing you the hours of debugging, troubleshooting, testing, monitoring and fixing that go into making sure that everything runs smoothly and surely. They are not showing you the complexity, the variety and the unpredictability of the task and project that they have to deal with. They are not showing you the skills, the knowledge, and the tools that they have to master and constantly update. They are not showing you the reality of DevOps engineering. So what does my daily structure looks like? Let's have a look. Well, it depends on the project, the deadline, the client. But generally, I start my day with uh, checking emails from my stakeholders, collaborators, and others. I also have to check the status of the system that I have to work with and the applications I'm responsible for. And if there are any issues or alerts that need my attention, then I plan my tasks and priorities for the day and start working on them. Sometimes I have to attend meetings or calls with my clients or team members where we discuss the projects, the challenges and the next steps of the projects. Sometimes I have to research, learn or experiment with new technologies, tools or methods that can help me improve the quality, efficiency or security of the project. Sometimes I have to code, test or deploy new features, updates or fixes to the project. Sometimes I have to troubleshoot, debug or resolve my error, bugs or incidents that occur in the project. Sometimes I have to document, report or present my work to my clients or stakeholders. And sometimes I have to deal with unexpected situation, changes or requests that requires me to adapt, improvise or collaborate with others. As you can see, my day is never the same and never boring. The workload of a DevOps engineer can vary depending on project, the client and the deadline. Sometimes it can be light and manageable. Sometimes I can have some free time to learn, work or uh, deal with my own projects. Sometimes it can be heavy, demanding and I have to work long hours, weekends or night to meet the expectations, requirements or deadlines. Sometimes it can be stressful, overwhelming, and I have to deal with multiple tasks, projects or clients at the same time and juggle between them. Sometimes it can be rewarding and satisfying, and I can see the results, the impact or the feedback of my work. And sometimes it can be frustrating and challenging, facing the challenges, failures and rejection that make me doubt myself of my work. The workload of a DevOps engineer is not constant and not easy. Some of the important daily tasks of a DevOps engineer involves keeping an eye on the performance. Monitoring. This involves keeping an eye on the performance, availability and health of the systems and application that I am working on and identifying any issues or anomalies that may affect them. I use various tools and platforms to collect, analyze and visualize matrices, logs and alerts that help me understand the state and behavior of the system and application. Monitoring is uh, essential for ensuring the reliability, stability, quality of the project and for preventing or detecting any problems before they escalate or affect the users or the business. Automation. This involves using scripts, tools or frameworks to automate repetitive, tedious or complex tasks that are part of the development, testing or deployment process. Automation helps me save time, reduce errors, increase consistency and improve efficiency. Continuous delivery CI and CD pipelines, which allow me to deliver code changes faster, more frequently and more reliably. Automation is the key for achieving the scalability and productivity of the project. Security. This involves applying best practices, standards and policies to ensure the security and compliance of the systems and application that I am working on. Security covers aspects such as encryption, authentication, authorization, auditing, logging, backup, recovery, and 
disaster recovery. Security also involves performing vulnerability scans, penetration tests, or audits to identify and mitigate any risk or threats that may compromise the project. Security is critical for protecting the data, the users, and the business from any malicious attacks or breaches. Working for someone else's company. This section may not apply to your field, but it's important that you try to attack every angle, figure out if or why someone may do freelance or work for a company. As a freelancer DevOps engineer, you have the freedom and flexibility to choose the projects, the clients, and the rates that you want to work with. You also have the opportunity and challenge to work on different types of projects, technologies, and domains, and to learn new skills and tools along the way. You will also have the responsibility and risk to manage your time, budget, and resources and to deliver high-quality work that meets the expectations and deadlines of your clients. You also have to deal with finding and retaining clients and the competition and pressure of standing out from other freelancers working. And now, this is the important part, which brings us to the everlasting question, especially staying on topics when it comes to DevOps engineering. YouTubers like myself, I'm not calling anyone out in particular. I'm a DevOps engineer and a tech YouTuber, just like many others. And I made the same videos because I wanted to share my passion and knowledge with you. But you may wonder why I choose to become a freelancer or entrepreneur DevOps engineer instead of working for a big company like the others. Well, the truth is I wasn't happy with the corporate lifestyle. I want all control of my time and projects and my creativity in my hands. I want freedom, more flexibility and more impact. I wanted to work on things that I cared about, things that I believed in, things that I could be proud of. And that's why I decided to work for myself. And let me tell you, it was the best decision I ever made. Of course, it wasn't easy. It took a lot of hard work, dedication and learning, but it was also rewarding, fulfilling and fun. I got to choose my own clients, my own schedules, and my own rates. I got to learn new skills, face new challenges, and solve new problems. I got to create my own brand, my own community, and my own legacy. And I'm not saying this to brag or to make you jealous. I'm saying this to inspire you, to motivate you, and to encourage you. Because I believe that you can do it. If you have a dream, a vision, a goal, don't let anything stop you from pursuing it. Don't settle for less than you deserve. Don't be afraid to take risks, to try new things, to fail, and to learn from your mistakes. Don't be afraid of yourself, to express yourself, to share yourself, because you have something unique, something valuable, something amazing to offer to the world. And speaking of offering something amazing, let me tell you that I have something special for you. I've partnered with The Course Careers, the best online platform to help you break into tech and get a job. Course Careers will provide you with personalized coaching, mentorship, networking, and job placement opportunities. You will also get access to exclusive courses, projects, and challenges that will boost your skill and portfolio. And the best part is you will have a great discount by using my referral link. Let me tell you one more thing. Course Career is completely risk-free and outcome-based. So what are you waiting for? Just click the link in the description below. Enroll with Course Careers today. My IT comrades, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. That's it for now. I'll catch you in the next one.